What's up guys, Tristan here with Team Bubble. I'm bringing you my January 2018 Banlist prediction video. Um, Konami on their site said that we won't get one sooner than January 2018, so we might be getting one in the next couple days, next couple weeks, but who knows. So this is gonna be my prediction video. Um, there's certain things that I want to happen, and then there's certain things that are more realistic to happen. So I'll kind of let you know as I go through what I think will and will not happen. So we're gonna start off with the band section. Uh, my first card is Spiral Master Plan. Now, by hitting this card, it will really, really hurt the Spiral deck. The reason why is because when you make double helix, you always summon the Spiral Master Plan. because it allows you to get so many pluses. You search a Spiral Monster, and then you also search a Spiral Mission and a Spiral Resort once you link summon with it. <clears throat> so by doing this, it really um, helps stop the pluses this deck can make and it makes uh, Spiral Double Helix a lot weaker of a card. So I think hitting Spiral Master Plan by banning it is the best option to hit this deck. I feel like you don't need any more hits because Spiral Drone and Spiral Quick Fix are both at one uh, respectively. Uh, for our next card, we have Level Eater. So Level Eater can be a, it's gonna be a very big impact in our meta once we get Link Rebo legal. Um, as of right now, as I'm making this video, Link Rebo is not legal for us in the TCG yet at least in North America TCG. And so, <clears throat> once Link Rebo is legal, Level Eater is gonna just take over the meta. A lot of different decks can abuse this card, and it's gonna make a lot of more Link Spam decks. A lot of people don't like these Firewall Link Spam decks, so I feel like Level Eater is a potential card. Not gonna happen on this list, but I think in a future list. Uh, possibly our next one before uh, Nat season. Uh, for my next card is Drone Lockbird. Um, Drone Lockbird is in the same conversation as Max C, Vanity's Emptiness, um, other cards like that that just skip your turn. And I don't like cards in the game that just skip your turn. It's very oppressive, and it's just it's just not fun to play against. Um, although Drone Lock has very many good qualities, that it um it helps stop oppressive decks like. Fusion Sub Zoo, um, Monarch FDK, and then now like the Spiral deck when it was full power. Um, Drone Lock helps with those, but it also hurts like the lower tier decks that need those cards. Um, if you just drop down on them, they, they just kind of lose. So I feel like that's a card that we don't need in the game, so I feel like it should be banned. For our last banned card, we have Maxi. So a lot of you guys are gonna be salty about this, but from a competitive standpoint, Maxi is just the most stupid card, and I don't know how many games I've lost to Maxi where um, game three in a match, you know, um, they just drop it and I just lose. Like, because you, the thing is, is Maxi legit just ends your turn. Because if you're smart, you don't want to let your opponent draw any cards. Usually they get a one out of one, one for one out of it, but you don't want to let them get any more. And I don't, I've lost so many times when my opponent just drops Maxi. Shout out David, shout out Eric. They know I just get so salty about it. Um, so yeah, Maxi needs to go. A lot of people, it's it's a zero or three card, but I think it should lean more towards zero. Um, yes, it can help you deter like the better decks, but it just it's just so oppressive. You just hate losing Maxi. It makes me so salty. I get so salty. I get mad at other people for getting salty, but I get salty when I lose Maxi. All right, so next we're going off to the limited section. Now, the rest of the ban list is going to be very long. I have a lot of cards going on the list, coming off the list, etc. So for limited, uh, terraforming to one, um, fuel spells are getting really busted. And I feel like hitting the searcher for the field spells is better than um, doing the field spell themselves. Just because, like, I don't want to see cards like Union Hanger, Domain, Draconic Diagram, stuff like that having to be limited to one, and then you're playing cards like Desires and other stuff where it could possibly, once you lose that one, you just lose your engine or lose your like win condition in your deck and stuff. So I feel like hitting Terraforming would be very beneficial, because we have one Terraforming, one Start Rotation, we still have the three Metaverse, there's five potential cards, but Metaverse is a trap card, so it's a lot slower, makes it more, um, makes it more balanced. So I feel like Terraforming to one would be fine. Next we have Cyframe Gear Gamma. So uh, with Gamma, it's the hand trap against hand traps. And while I really like the card, it can also be it can also be really bonkers. And it really sucks when, um, let's say you're playing your opponent, they play a card, you Ash Blossom it, 
and then they counter with Cypheum Gear Gamma, and now you just lose, because you just lose your hand trap, and they still get to do their stuff, and you're just like, well, damn, I just, I guess I'll just go away now. So I feel like Gamma to one, um, oh, I don't know. It's an iffy card. I don't know how I really feel about it, but I feel like at one, it would be nice, because that card is just kind of crazy. Uh, next we have Performer Palace Skull Crobat Joker. Um, this is the search card for Pendulums, pretty much. And since they're getting the new uh, Metal Foes uh, Link Monster, that deck's gonna be bonkers. So I feel like hitting this card at one will really just help deter their consistency a little bit. Um, it's, I feel like an archetype is okay to have a Stratos, but the Stratos can only be at one. So that's my, that's my philosophy. And on that note, we have Trickstar Candina. This is my only Trickstar hit on this list. And here's my reason why. We already put Terraform into one, and now we hit Candina. So that means their light stage, well, although it does search cards, it's very hard to get to because you're only playing one Terraforming and one Candina of the deck to search your three field spell. So it really makes the deck harder to get to. The reason why I'm not hitting Reincarnation is because I feel like Reincarnation isn't really the problem. Um, mainly because you only resolve Reincarnation once, maybe twice if you're actually doing like the FTK version. And so I feel like um, Reincarnation isn't as much as the problem, more of Candina and Light Stage getting to it so easily. So I feel like with Terraforming at 1 and Candina at 1, it really hurts the consistency, consistency of that deck as well. And next up we have Solemn Judgment. Bring that off the ban list. Now I don't know if this will happen, but here's my reason why. We're getting the Counter Fairy Structure Deck sometime in January. I do not remember when. But they want to push Counter Fairies. They want to push Counter Traps. Well, how about you bring the best Counter Trap of all time, Solid Judgment, back to one? Um, 4,000 life points is a heavy cost, activating it like first turn. Um, it gets better as the game goes along, as you have less life points. Um, but yeah, I feel like Solid Judgment is a card that can come back to one. Next up, we have Cyberstein. Now, this is an interesting card. I've been wanting this to come off the ban list for a while. Um, it went from 1 to 3 in the OCG a long time ago, and then went back to 1 because of Metal Foes. But now with the Link format, Cyberstein is really power crept. Are you really going to spend 5,000 life points to summon a fusion monster in your extra monster zone? And that's it. Like, there are arguments that like it can cause extra stuff. You know, It still, hurt, uh, still helps Metal Foes and stuff, but I feel like... Cyberstein as a normal summon, pay 5,000, special one monster in extra monster zone, locking up your extra monster zone. I feel like that's just not good. So I feel like that card can come to one and then potentially more as we see it, it's not good. Uh, the next card is Performage uh, Damage Juggler. Um, I feel like it's time for it to come to one. Um, I was gonna put, uh, what's it called, Plush Fire on here, but then I realized, oh, with the uh, with the Link Monster for uh, Metal Foes, this would just be too bonkers. So I feel like Damage Juggler can come to one because, all right, you're gonna stop one burn, one attack, whatever, and you get to search for a Trick Clown or a Hat Tricker. Like, it's not it's not a big deal. It's not that good. Um, next we have Tribe Infecting Virus. Normal Summon, discard one to blow up stuff. It's too slow. That's, that's all I gotta say. Now finally, Mathematician. I'm putting it back to one reason why is because the plant stuff is really scary and you don't want multiple foolish burials in the deck to just send your dandelion and do all your shenanigans um i feel like mathematician at one just leave it at one it's a really good foolish burial card i don't want to see anything more than one for right now next we're up to two uh the cards coming to two so my first one is firewall dragon i don't feel like they're gonna go straight from three to one or even three to band I feel like putting it to two at first, while it doesn't deter too much of the firewall loop stuff, it can hurt a little bit because let's say somehow they banish one of your firewalls, you can't just keep looping it. So I feel like to two is fine for now. Uh, next we have Psalm Strike to two. If you're gonna bring Judgment back to one, I think you have to take away a strike. It's just kind of fair, more fair, just so that you don't have like three strike, one Judgment, one Warning. Now it's two strike, one Judgment, one Warning. Next we have Scapegoat. Scapegoat is one of the most bonkers cards in Link format. And I remember at first I was like, Scapegoat's too slow, you just can't summon for the rest of the turn, but you just do it during your opponent's end phase, and it's just it's just amazing. Shout out to Eric and his Trickstars. Um, next we have 
Aether the Heavenly Monarch. I'm not going to give him back Pantheism. I'm not going to give him back Stormforth right now. We're just going to give him back Aether. See what happens. It's not going to do much to the deck, but just slowly, slowly give stuff back to it. Uh, next we have Book of Moon. Uh, it's power corrupt against links. Um, it's really good against other stuff, but like a link monster doesn't do anything to it. So I feel like it's time for Book of Moon to come back to two. Uh, next is Compulsory Evacuation Device. It's not going to, I don't know how much people are going to play it. It's just like a one for one, but it's kind of good still, but I feel like it's just too slow. And then along that lines, we also have Bottomless Trap Hole to two. I feel like all three of these cards are going to put to two and then it'll, they'll go to three. You know, it's just kind of like a progression of um, how much people do or do not play it. Uh, next we have Fairy Tale Snow. So this is, a hit to two won't do as much, but it's going to help hit Lightsworns a little bit. So it's just not so consistent that they'll get a snow in the graveyard right away. Um, my, my real wish is that snow would go to one and then grass to three, because I love, I miss, I miss grass and fernoids. Um, but for right now, just put snow to two, let it fizzle for a little bit, and then put it to one. Um, I think that'd be the best way to like hit lights horns a little bit, because they're popping up here and there. Probably like the fifth best deck in the format. Uh, next we have Artifact Moral Tech. Um, it's at one, it shouldn't be at one. You could put it to three, but for right now, let's we'll put it to two. I think that'd be the best uh, option. And then finally, for our last card of two, we're gonna put Mind Control. This card is gonna be really interesting. Uh, OCG has it at three and they play it a lot. Um, the cool thing about this card, it says you can't synchro or tribute it, but we can link summon, boys. And so um, a lot of people play this during zoo format, you know, just take their wrap here, do your stuff, whatever, take their Dryden, etc. But um, I think it'd be really cool for a link format to have this. Um, I could event eventually become an issue, but I think just put it to two, see what happens. Um, I don't think it would break the format. Uh, lastly, we're at cards going to three. I have a very big list here. A lot of this is like kind of wish list, but we'll see what happens. Uh, my first card is Card Trooper. Um, I don't think Card Trooper to three would break too much. You had like the Machine Dupe mill nine combo but is that really consistent enough that people are going to play that i don't think so so i think card trooper three is fine next we have brain control has the errata it's trash that's fine uh ojama trio go back to three um tokens are very weak now because you can lose them use them for link summoning so i feel like ojama trio kind of got worse unless you just blow up all the tokens right away so i feel like that can go to three as well a little bit of ojama support because they're getting more cards uh, Gen X Ally Birdman, it's not going to do anything. That's that's all I got to say. I don't know if they'll do it, but just put it to three, it's fine. Uh, next we have Neo Spatial Grand Mole. Everyone's been wanting this forever, but I feel like it's, you're not going to waste your normal summon on it. Like, I can, I can see Petalum decks maybe using it, but it's just not worth it. I don't know. Um, next we have Future Fusion, Errata. A three, it's kind of reckless, but I feel like no one's playing it. And like, yeah, you can start at three, you can play it in Infernoids, but like there's just so much spell and trap removal in the game that I just want to do anything. Uh, Upstart Goblin, this is my personal wish list. Um, Magical Musketeers are just not the same without it at three. And it's just, it's just so good for deck building and stuff. Just having the three upstarts in there. Yeah, I just, I want it back to three. It's my favorite card. Uh, next we have Bring Destruction. I feel like this is a really reckless move by me, because um, ring, even with the errata, ring is still pretty decent. However, um, I don't think anyone's gonna play it at three. So let's put it to three, see what happens. <laughs> and then for my last card, we have Luster Pendulum, uh, the true Draco Slayer, whatever, whatever it's in, Luster Pendulum. Um, it's at two right now. I think it'd be fine at three. I don't think it's gonna do much. So no one's playing it right now in Pendulums. But yeah, that's uh that's my January ban list. Um, as you guys see, I left off Stratos. Stratos can stay banned. It's fine. Um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me see your guys' ban list down below. Tell me if I'm stupid or if I'm smart down in the comments. And yeah. So see you later.